So I think I did a thing. Yes, me. Yes, I definitely did a thing. Me in a high ponytail. No leave out in the back or anything like that. Who am I? Who am I? AF Sister Wig sent me over this beautiful 360 wig and I literally executed her to perfection. I went with a beautiful, natural, no baby hair hairline. I did leave out these beautiful bangs and they look so good. It complements the wig so well. I also did not have to tint the lace or pluck anything out at all. All of this here you can see is courtesy of the brand. They did an amazing job at pre-plucking the hairline and also giving me a lace that melts beautifully. So if you're interested in seeing the install process and how I got the lace to melt without any smoke and mirrors, no tricks, no tick, just very, very, very easy and beginner friendly. And also how I got the style the ponytail keep on watching we are going with a 360 lace wig today this one is courtesy of af sister wig and i'll show you the packaging a little bit later let me turn this down because my cameras my security cameras are going crazy you guys already know the, the the best thing about af sister wig is the hairline it's always pre-plucked to perfection and you guys can kind of see that you'll see it when i put it on but when i um turn the wig inside out you'll see this is how much lace you get in the front and as you go around the reason it's called a 360 lace wig is because the lace is literally the entire here and then it's also in the back we do have an adjustable elastic band in there and that can be removed if that's not your jam and then also a new key feature in this one is the invisible strap in the back you guys already know um, there's always a strap in the back to make the nape it a little bit more tight and what they do is they have it to where it's an invisible strap it's hard to show you guys I don't have a mannequin head on hand but when you pull on it there's this little um, grip piece in the middle you pull on it and it gets tighter so I'm gonna pull both sides I am gonna go ahead and tint the lace with a foundation powder and you guys know I love my MAC kabuki brush I want the back to give a scalp like appearance just like you would want your front to do wow I feel like a princess okay 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 I see you boo cut Okay, so my son made me a yoga parfait. I had to take a little intermission to eat my baby's creative work because it was delicious, even though it was too much honey. But um, this is what it looks like when you tint the lace. The only prep that you actually have to do before you put the wig on is cut the lace off in the back. So you want to make sure that it looks something like this to where um, the lace is removed, all of that excess lace, but you still kept another enough so that if you want to bond the back down, you can use this little piece here to bond it down. And again, we're not in jeopardy of damaging that strap in the back. Now we can proceed to put her on. And then we're going to put the wig down in the back. Then we're going to put it down in the front. And this is what she looks like on. So far, I do love the curl pattern. Yeah, this one actually fits a little bit bigger than I need. I do feel like I can take a little bit of that off so I can pull it or I can part it and pull the unnecessary lace forward probably gonna cut off about that much you can also see my wig band in there I'm gonna pull that back so don't worry about that but for now yeah let's go ahead and cut the lace off and bond her down I'm on TikTok. I'm gonna go ahead and bind her down. We're gonna go with the bedhead hard head um extreme hold hairspray, and this is a level five hairspray. And yeah, I'm gonna bind it down, blow dry it on a cool setting until it's completely dry. I tell you guys all the time, cool setting, but typically I will do a warm or hot setting because I'm impatient, but you'll get a better finish if it is not hot. So let's go ahead and bind it down, cool setting, and then we will start the styling process. <laughs> Okay, so the wig is bonded down. I have baby girl right here with me. Say hi. Hi. She is bored because her sister is asleep. But um, this is what it looks like as a center part. And then because we have so much lace, you can definitely do like a deeper side part. That's definitely not straight. But just so you guys can get an idea, you can definitely do a side part, but you can do super deep. Of course, you can curve it out. And of course, again, 
make it neat, but you guys get the picture and you can do the same on the opposite side. Twist. Your favorite is twist hair because you know how to twist hair, huh? Your vibe is massive. It's supernatural. Keep it factual. You know you're maxing bad. Look at the way they hold they chat. Honestly amazing. Okay, so I kind of molded the hair right here to go in front when I bonded it down. So I'm going to stick to the shape of that, and I think I am going to do these two bangs here. Let me just go ahead and style the front. I'm going to do the dynamic duo, which is the wax, and I'm just going to take it, and I am going to be a little bit heavy-handed just because this is going to be the style, like what you see. I want you on occasion. I can do you favors that I know you won't do. Hey Google, set thermostat to 78. Okay, so I used my Pantene Flexible Hold Hairspray. This is a level three um, hold hairspray. And that does give me a little bit extra hold. And you guys can see how beautiful and pre-plucked the hairline looks. I'm gonna dig into this bag of hair um, clips that I have. And I'm going to zhuzh up these bangs. <laughs> And I'm just gonna use my finger to curl it upwards. When I get high enough, I'm gonna remove that and attempt to clamp it. <laughs> that was terrible. And then clip, clip it. My camera's about to die, so I just wanna show you guys. I'm gonna redo this one probably while the camera is dead. But I'm just gonna add my melt belt and make sure that it's covering like the base of the back. Okay, mission accomplished. I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you the ponytail from the back, but let me show you what I can. Sorry, I know it looks crazy. I'm not good at the back ponytails, but I guess I have to start practicing, right? So pulling this forward, this is what we have so far. As I mentioned, you wanna make sure that the, the comb is as low as you can get it. And then you also can kind of pull baby hairs down. Um, now that it's down, the reason I'm putting this back on, of course you want the wig to melt, but you also want to get your ponytail as tight and as snatched as you possibly can. So I'm just going to use mousse and I'm just going to start applying it now. You guys seen I already did the front to make it smooth, but the mousse isn't going to hurt what I've already done, but more so to just brush this in place and i like to use a hard brush now i know i'm not going to get it perfect i almost would prefer it a little bit curly and messy but i'm just showing you options of how to really get it snatched you have to hold it down because it's not binded down and even if it is binded down you want to make sure that it's as tight as possible and just keep brushing just like you would when you're brushing your ponytails with your real hair arms will hurt my arms are hurting already and then what works best for me a lot of the times is to just go ahead and do the ponytail upside down. Excuse my background, which you may or may not see. And I like to gather the front and bring it as forward as I want it. I kind of hold the band here and I kind of just guide the hair, realizing that it's not going to be extremely flat. It's not going to be perfect. If this were straight hair where I really wanted it to be smooth, you can use the hot comb. But because this hair is textured, I kind of thrive on like the curliness of it, more so in the back to kind of give me grace. And then I hold my hand like upside down. And I keep it as centered when I'm going around. And I pull it forward. And you can just add a little bit of mousse if you want to play up the curls. I'm going to remove my band, remove my clips. And you see how the, the curls are a little bit more curly? That definitely did what it was supposed to. I just wanted to play up the texture that was already provided. And that is a look. Let me show you guys the back. Okay, babies, we are done with the look. Now, I know you're supposed to love yourself in your natural look, but I just feel like whenever I put my little makeup on, even if it's a natural beat, the whole look comes together and you guys can really see what we're doing. So I did decide to keep the ponytail up high. I do like it up here. I think it looks really good. I also think the bangs look really good too. I did notice when I was doing my makeup that 
this one is longer than this one now they almost are the same length but this one's just curling less so i'm just gonna cut a little bit off this is the look i love her i love this for me this is a very good 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 look for me this one did come from a of sister wig and as i show you always this is their packaging there is a bow attached and then you also get your wig caps you get a baby hair brush and you get a pack of bobby pins and you get a um clip now i love how flawless this one looks you guys know i typically don't wear my hair up and down but af sister wig is a company that you can definitely get away with it with ease even if you're just like me i'm a mom half the time i just want to wear my hair all the way up in a bun and just not care so i love the fact that this one has like the baby hair in the back so i can kind of like stretch and pull the wig down in the back and just throw it up as far as the lace i did not tense it and i honestly don't feel like i need to i almost don't want to um tint it because i feel like it's gonna I'm going to make it too warm, but I love how pre-plucked the hairline is. This is all their work, and I did kind of like purposely swoop it right here because I knew that the lace was going to end here, and I want to finesse and cover up any lifting that can happen. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Be sure to check them out. I have this one linked in the description box. There's also details on my wig, uh, the dimensions, and all of that if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!